Right, well, I tried everything in the guitar and it seems that the pickups are the wrong way round. And what I do is this, in the up position, this position here, uh, it's nice to have the front pickup only going. And so you just get this straight clean sound that's running straight to the amplifier through no effects, everything bypassed completely. And then in the second position, what you get there is you get both of these together. So you get this this pickup is being sent to the affected sound, uh, perhaps with a wah wah pedal and a phaser and some such a thing. Not a distortion pedal, not for this kind of guitar. And so the uh, the volume controls. These these are the volume controls here, and uh, this volume control controls this, the level of this pickup and this volume control is the level of this pickup over here. And so you can set the amount of level of your phase sound and which is together with your normal sound. In, with your phase sound you don't really want your phase sound on its own. You always want the phase sound and the clean straight in your amp sound together because that gives you a fuller better sound. And so um, just your normal sound without any phasing, so you can be just be singing along and just a clean sound in your amp, and then when you get to the instrumental part, you can just kick it over to there, and that gives you your phase sound without touching your pedal board or anything, in addition to your normal sound. So that's how it works, and I've wired mine up the wrong way round here, so I'm going to swap over the pickup so that the, the one pickup is... Um, the other way around to what it is at the moment with the stereo wiring. That's all that's wrong with it. Okay. <clears throat> inside the guitar and you would have to completely re-solder everything to do that so I'm not going to do that and so I'm going to leave the, the volume controls and tone controls so that they affect the same pickup now we have to watch out that we've got two things to correct here we've got the switch working incorrectly and we've got the, the pickups crossed over so we have to be careful that we don't think we've got it right and change it and finally we reversed everything the other way around again we've got the same problem. So I've carefully drawn a diagram and I'll show you um, my new diagram. Okay, we're ready to go here and you'll see here I've carefully drawn out a new diagram and so I'm showing which wire I have to cut. I have to cut a wire here and I have to cut a wire here and I have to swap them over and that should do it on the switch. I'll show you on here what I've done, what it is and okay so we're going to have to take this wire here and cut it and take this wire here and cut it and then join the two together and that'll swap everything over and the switch will then operate on the correct pickup and the correct pickup will then go down the correct channel according to the way I like it because I don't want to pick this guitar up and find that it's working the opposite of the other guitars and have to swap the cables around and everything it's all got to be the same as the other guitars okay let's do it and now that I've taken off the insulation over here, you can see I've taken the insulation off. And now we can see that if we disconnect this wire here, this red wire is long enough to connect over here. And if we disconnect this one here, then this one is also long enough to come over to here. So that's the easiest way of doing this little job. Okay, that job's done. You can see here... I soldered this piece on here and I 
so this here and I use the, the pliers just to hold the work so it didn't move while I soldered it that's all okay so I'm ready to tape it up and put it all back together and try it out again now it's quite interesting how things work out because I did the modification according to my calculations it would have resulted in the right effect and it it fixed half of the problem and the other half it didn't it must have turned it round again and so I have the wrong pickup coming out of the wrong channel but all the switches works well now it's good that it's happened to me because I was able to hear what it would sound like if the two channels were reversed and there is a right way round to have the pickups in a stereo setup and if you reverse the wiring and have the pickups go into the wrong part of the rig, um, you get everything, it doesn't sound good, it sounds like really bad. And so this is actually the right way around. What I did was, I could test it easily because I could reverse my cables into my pedal board. Because this, this, this cable goes, it's a stereo cable here and there's two mono cables come out there and go into my stereo board. That's just straight in. And the front picker. And if you switch it here, now you can hear the phaser coming in. Same with this. The main thing is to is to take the easy way and realize that all these steps on the way, we're all lear always learning something, and there's a good uh, result coming out of the fact that you know I now fully understand what the consequences would be of wiring the pickups the other way. And I know I don't want it that way because I've already heard the sound, and it doesn't sound good at all the other way around. It sounds magnificent this way around. So. I need to move this. Okay, so what do we need to do here? And it's quite simple really. You see where this red wire and this yellow wire cross over. These just need to be crossed over here. And you can see if we unsolder it over here and then cut the yellow wire over here we can do a fairly neat job of this and actually make the wiring more um, tidy than it, what it was before. So that's the easy job, just to cut these and swap them over. And this is just swapping the two outputs. This output and the output from the switch is just swapping them to the different channels. That's all it is. Okay, let's do it. Okay, there's the job done. A little bit of solder, the two little wires. You can tape them up or probably all right to leave them really as long as they don't touch each other. I'm going to tape mine up. Mm. 
notes. I've written this down on here. The green goes to the clean sound, the blue to the phased or digital sound. To swap over stereo wiring, disconnect and swap over. That's what it says. I'm going to tear that piece of paper off there. I'm not going to worry about this because this is, a, this is too complex. But I'm just going to leave this inside and I've taped, you'll see, I've taped the two up with the green and the blue tape. And so that's just easy to take the tape off and unsold them and swap them over. And so there you go, as easy as that. And if I ever want to incorporate a switch to do this, then it's possible to do that in the future. But I haven't got time to do that now, so there you go.